along with them for now? That doesn't sound good. We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. I hope that's clear. No problem. You won't have to worry about them. Didn't sound that way. They just need time to get used to things. I hope you're right. Come on. Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. I don't know what to tell you, David. It's all true. No matter how much terrible shit you see, some things are still hard to stomach. He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? Mariana saw things that the other people didn't. She, uh... She told me she wanted to write down her memories to keep them alive after she was gone. Sounds like her. Always was a dreamer. How? How did she die? Tell me how it happened. Please, I need to know. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate, too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Fuck. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. Same assholes killed a hostage at this town, Prescott. Prescott? At the airstrip? Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor. Keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. Fuck that. They'll have to drag me out feet first. Cut that shit out. Well, that'll be exactly what happens. I run security here, but it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Who's the fresh meat? Ava is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? Welcome to civilization. Or at least the closest thing to it these days. Uh, baseball's long gone. Just regular old survivor brother now. <laughs> From what I hear, there's nothing regular about you. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. That woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house. At the start. 
I'm sorry I never found you. Did you even try? How can you even ask that? I don't know, David. You seem like a pretty capable guy. Why didn't you come back? Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought you had it in you. We took care of each other. And we all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. It took the end of the world. But you finally grew up. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable when I stay in long. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. I was gonna say the same about you. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. A damn fine walker. Gross. You're a lucky man, David. We're all lucky. Uh, what, you okay? Uh, my... oh, shit. I'll get the doc. Uh. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you, alone. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die. Everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? David threw his own brother in a cell. Let's just get you better, Kate. Get the facilities here. I don't care about facilities. We did fine without them before. You didn't have a ruptured spleen before. These people nearly killed me, Javi. David's people. Have you forgotten, Mari? Of course not. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. We can't let ourselves get locked in. I'll find a way, Kate. You have my word. Rest up. You're gonna need your strength. Thanks. I feel better. Knowing we're in this together. But please hurry. I... I don't want to be left alone here. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills 9 out of 10. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. That would be Eleanor. One of my friends you threw in quarantine. Well, she's no use to anyone there. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. The rest of those guys can contribute. If that's what it takes to get free. They're all pretty handy in a fight. That's why they're all under guard. 
Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> no complaints here. I get that you guys have a way of doing things. Thank you. We have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi. Take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden? Or a baked delicacy by yours truly? I'd have to go with that cake. I haven't seen anything like that in years. Uh, suit yourself. Come on, Clint. At least he's being honest. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please. Forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. I always do what I'm told. Ask my older brother. You're gonna fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. You're gonna regret that when you're older. You know, for job interviews and stuff. Oh, smart ass. <laughs> Laugh all you like. Someone takes our mark, they're committed. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We, we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. You can't protect people, Joan. Not completely. Not anymore. <sighs> You're probably right. That doesn't mean we don't have to try. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Good. 
because I just said you wouldn't be invited. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. Did you steal gas from us? I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That... that's not all. He shot Rufus. In the back. You did what? We found the body near the wreck of Rufus's truck. You cold cocked me with your pistol. I woke up in a truck with cable ties on my wrists. That don't make it right. Rufus was bringing you here. We wasn't gonna hurt you. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to killers. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. Oh, for God's sakes, get off your high horse. Don't pretend like your people don't have blood on their hands. I'm not sure what you mean. We hold our people to the highest standards. Javi? You have something to say? One of your people, some asshole called Badger, he put a bullet in a little girl, my niece, David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David, this cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No, we need to hear this. Go on, Javi. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. They killed a hostage in cold blood. A woman, Francine. Badger did that, not me. You were right there next to him. I tried to get him to stop, I swear. Cut off her damn finger first. Max! I tried to stop him, I swear. He was out of control. David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here, your doctor friend too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive, okay? I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said. Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! This isn't her fault, Trip. You're mad at the wrong person. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. 
everything was going okay. At first, I don't know what happened back there. Yeah, well, I got a pretty good idea what's gonna happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. We don't even know where the hell we are on this thing. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. That's where we are. And that's where we need to go. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. There. The end of the Little Dipper. No. That's the Big Dipper. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Let's go. Trip, come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. It's too much. Knock that shit off, Trip. You're better than that. <laughs> we'll see. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know you got my back. And I got yours. Of course. After you. I gotta tell you, man, I thought you and Kate were, you know, I wouldn't have guessed she was married to not you. I ain't judging, mind you, I'm just curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know, but what have we got to lose out here? I... Hey. Man, it's all right. Go for it. I do have feelings for her. Maybe I shouldn't, but that doesn't just make him go away. Uh, no harm in saying it. Hell, only real harms in not saying it when you should. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just when you think you got everything figured out, boom, heart goes ass over tea kettle. No, if it wasn't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Just saying, man, three things that never hide forever. The sun, the moon, and the truth. I know Eleanor told you that she and I were whatever we were, but that's over now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. 
Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Okay, look alive, people. I got him. Come on, man, move your ass. You want a piece of this? Careful with this. Where even now? I thought you were getting out of here. I was. The walkers are everywhere. I had to cover myself in walker guts to get away. Come on. We're heading to a factory nearby. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. New Frontier kick you out? Doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. No thanks to David. And no thanks at all. David? That asshole's still around? This is gonna sound really weird, but... He's my brother. What? Wait. This place we're going? David sent you there? It's supposed to be safe. Clem. You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. I never wanted to need people again. But I had nowhere else to go. The New Frontier gave me this and made me one of them. They promised they'd help him. That turned out to be a lie.
Hang in there, goofball. This is gonna get you better. Clem. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? I'm... I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin. That's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you. It could save someone's life if used right. You selfish jerk. You'd let him die to save your drugs. Because they won't do a thing for him. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. The drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. You know what they do to thieves here. There's still time. I have to try. <laughs> Come on, goofball. I need you to be brave for me now, okay? Shh, shh. See? It's not so bad. What the hell is this? I told her it was a bad idea. Are you fucking high again? Pull yourself together before the others see you. Deal with the damn kid. What the fuck were you thinking? You were told those drugs couldn't help him. How could you be so stupid? So selfish? What, did you think I would just give up on him? AJ is everything to me, David. I'd do anything to keep him alive. Except there's nothing left to do. That waste, that'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. Come on, David. She was just trying to help her kid. We helped enough! We should have left him out in the woods a week ago! But look! It's helping! It doesn't work that way, Clem. You bought him a peaceful moment. <laughs> nothing more. I wish I could tell you it would save him. That's the reality. That's more than you did, any of you. That's not fair. You ungrateful little shit. We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. There's no place for you in the New Frontier. You've made that pretty damn obvious. You know what? Fuck you, and fuck the new frontier! You already did. That's why you have to go. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. I'm not leaving without him. AJ can't travel. All we can do now is make him comfortable. I'm not leaving without him. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. It's what's best for both of you. No! You monsters! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. Please don't make me regret this.
I thought AJ would be the one. Finally. The one what? The one who didn't die. Clem, I'm so sorry. My little goofball. That's what I get for trusting other people. Again. This is what David circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. Then push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. Here they come. I can... Uh, fuck! I can raise it a little, but... I don't know, something's wrong with it. Jammed or some shit. Maybe we can force it open. We're gonna have to. Locked. Shit. Look for another way in. It's our only chance. Oh man, this thing ain't as strong as we thought. Hurry it up. I don't hear anything in there. Good enough for me. Pick up the pace, hobby. Close. Hopefully that door holds him. Hey, I'm here! David! Don't you dare let that fucking baby killer in! <laughs> Don't make me do this! Clem. Don't do it, Javi! He'll die. He deserves worse. I 
thought you were a good man. We need to barricade the door. Did you let him turn? Tell me! Now! Answer her question. Now. We didn't have to worry about that. What the hell does that mean? He lived, Clem. He lived. But how? He was dying. Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was... a miracle. You're lying. I know, it sounds like I'm trying to save my own skin. Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We store vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Wait. This is a send-off? You're, you're just seeing me on my merry way. You think I want this? Well, you're not doing much to stop it. I don't see another way. Shit! Board it up. We need something to buffer. Something heavy. There! Help me! Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. What the hell is all this? These could come in handy. Don't want to just take them, but... I might be going crazy, but I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts, for emergencies. Whoever did this, they have to be stopped. Damn right they do. Soon as we find out who. Who else knew about this place? Your outfit is the only one that gutted my town. This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Who the fuck are you at? Wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't gone all trigger happy on David's family. Take over. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. That shit is the new gold. And now we get to see your head pop, you piece of shit. David? I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... Stop him! He's getting away! 
Go! Get Badger! Shove that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do. Shove that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do. My goddamn guts out. Um, um. This is for Mariana. She was a sweet little girl, just minding her own business. <laughs> Not anymore. Fuck her, and fuck you too. Get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. No point drawing it out. No. Let's let him turn. It's only right. He's all yours. Stop! Please! Raiding, looting, you betrayed who we are! You betrayed Richmond! Come on, David. This is Richmond! What's that supposed to mean? 
What's that supposed to mean? I ain't got nothing to say. Start talking, or I promise you, you're gonna scream. Okay, okay, take it easy. I'm waiting. Come on, man. It wasn't like we were doing this by ourselves. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. She... She said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, don't kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. Expose her to the others. We don't need your help. I'm begging you! Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan... What about the other two? Won't be hurting anyone else. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm surprised you care. Human life isn't exactly high on your list of priorities. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. Fine. Do what you gotta do. We'll be fine on our own. Depends what you mean by fine. I won't forget about you. You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. We need to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. You said it yourself. If it ain't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. Fine, but I expect first-class treatment when we're done. No more quarantine for me or my friends. Just the red fucking carpet. Of course. Whatever you need. Let's just get this done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on, we gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in. This will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, I'm taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well... You are owed a vehicle. 
Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. Well, I hope it involves getting far away from here. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. <laughs>